Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I am here on four fields. This is a new mod map out by Omatana. In fact, it's actually two mod maps out. This is going to be a weird one. The first half of the mod map tour I'm going to do on four fields. The second part, if I get it right, <laughs> is going to be on Fierfelden. So you can either have an American style or a German style map. Now, the change is, in essence, it's just the buildings. A couple of bits of machinery, but for the most part, the map is the same. The fields are the same, the cell points are the same, but the building styles change. So at the moment, you can see to the right, and you'll see as we go around, the farmyard is red barns, very American styled. We've got John Deere's, we've got an American lorry, that kind of stuff. Um, we've got a, an ideal harvester. And then if you switch over to Fierfelden, You've got um, a class harvester, you've got a more European lorry, um, the, the barns and buildings are more uh, sort of Germanic style. Um, you'll, like I say, you'll see as we go round, um, and I'll switch, I'll switch as we go. Slot count, I'm not going to lie, um, it's off the chain on this one. Um, I'll show you it because it was a bit staggering. 2,235. Now that's on four fields. On Fierfelden, it's 2,161, because there's a few changes in machinery and equipment, so obviously the slot counts are a little bit different for those. On Farm Manager and Start From Scratch, on four fields, it's 1,996, so Farm Manager and Start From Scratch, and on Fierfelden, it's 1,937. Difference being, you don't start with any of the machinery or equipment, you do still have all the buildings. Now, there are four farms as well. You do start with one of them on New Farmer, but there are four farms to purchase. So what I also then did, off camera, I bought all four farms, sold all the buildings, which you can do, all of them, including the decorative objects. I got the slot count down to 1,588, if you wanted to, if you're only gonna run one farm and use the blocks for other things, um, but if you wanna leave them, yeah, 2,235, it's up there. But Omatan has put in some, um, rather than adding um, mods in of her own, she's just incorporated mods into the map, including a few quite outstanding productions. We've got some extra crop types. We've got rye and we've got spelt. Uh, we have also got, you can uh, grow grass, but you can also grow meadow grass. It can be mowed the same way and, 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 and all the rest, you know, what you normally do with grass, but it's just a slightly different look. But you can plant it can put it in the ground. As far as Ryan's spelt goes, um, putting it into the ground is done by a cedar. You can see the two on the end, including you've got the grass one there, you've got meadow grass, then you've got your rye and your spelt. And then it's harvested with a regular header. Whereas obviously the, the grass is mown. mown d -d -d. So under build mode, we have got put in by Omitana. We've got a load of sheds. And those are, again, there's slight differences. I'll show you when we go. This, obviously, it's doubling everything up. But uh, under silos, we've got 10 million litre multi fruit silos. Then we've got pallet and bale storages, which are 500 pieces each. Uh, there was nothing under silo extensions, containers. We've got gas station, we've got garden pump, and then we've got buying stations. Each farm has a buying station where you can buy various different goods if you want. Uh, we've got uh, workshop trigger and then we've got a load of farmhouses from here we will go to productions factories and you'll see that we've got a biogas plant and then we've got these now these are in pairs so you've got cow farm farm production and then cow farm farm supply we're gonna have a look at those as we go around and then you've got cow farm cow farm and then you've got horse farm now these once placed can be renamed and you'll see as we go around we've then got sheep farm and pig farm that also have these but they're not here in the uh, in the build mode as productions or factories but you can place these ones if you remove those you know, it kind of you know you'll see as we go around it'll make sense uh, there was nothing under selling points under greenhouses we have got the open air garden large if you've seen the open air gardens by Omatana this is next level this is massive uh, only 20 grand um, but they are yeah colossal nothing under orchards but under generators if you have a wealthy patron if you have someone that's sending you money 
donating, helping you out. You can have a patronage that will pay you 8,400 a month, 84,000 a month or 840,000 a month. So you can place those a little bit like the government subsidy signs if you want to do that. You don't have to, don't have to place them, but they are there as an option. Uh, under animals, we do have some extra cow um, pastures and barns put in. The cows will do 500 and the pasture will do 20. Uh, under horses, we've got two at 16. I think there's the um, the sort of Americanized red barn version and a more German version. Uh, under sheep, sorry, pigs, we've got one pig one there which will hold a thousand. Sheep will do a thousand. And then we've got nothing under chickens. But, obviously there's loads of chicken mods. We don't have any ch chickens on the map, but you can place them if you want to. Uh, under decoration, we didn't have anything, I don't think. Do we have anything under, under, oh yeah, under others. We've got the four signs. Signpost, cow, horse, sheep and pig. They are on the map already, but if you want to place more, you can. Especially if you remove one by mistake. Then under landscaping, we've got some painting textures. Nothing under trees, but under plants. We've got a few extra textures, including the field create, so you can get fields done if you want to. That's everything under build mode. So, cracking on, we start here with the four fields farmhouse. Sleep trigger at the front. Wardrobe trigger at the rear. As we come round into the yard, you will see our equipment and machinery, so there's our... Ideal Harvester, our Anthem with Trailer. Now, those are different on Fearfelden, but these are the same. So you do still start with um, the Muck Spreader, you do still start with that sort of flatbed-ish trailer, Forage Harvester and uh, Liquids Tank. Over here is a little bit different. There'll be different machinery on the other side for these bits. I think we start with a Class Wheel Loader rather than a Telehandler, but they've got a Telehandler, you've got your Case and then these are the same. So our seed, the cultivator, and fertilizer spreader. Now here we've got our production. So the first one here is the cow farm production. And I'll click on that and you'll see, because you do start with this on New Farmer. So we've got all of these different things. So we've got wheat flour, barley, oat, sorghum, corn. Then we've got rye flour and spelt flour. Then you've got a separate rye flour and spelt, spelled flour. Um, these are used for different productions. So if you go down to bread, you'll see that that uses regular flour. Um, but then if we go to mixed bread, that requires regular flour and rye flour. Now, don't see the difference. The rye flour has got like a purpley colour to it, and the spelled flour has got like a greenish colour to it. Um, so for the mixed bread, you need a bit of both. The spelled bread needs spelled flour. You've then got bread rolls, baguettes, muffins with different recipes. We've then got cake, sugar beet, raisins, grapes. So it does pretty much everything. Cereals, butter, cheese, fabric, french fries and premium potatoes can be done here as well. So all those productions can be done at this building here. Then the one next door, which is this one here, this is your farm supply. Um, so cow farm, farm supply. So this is all the things you require for your animals. So you've got grass to hay, then you've got your total mix ration recipes where you've got your three ingredients. Then you've got the two ingredients if you want to just go with hay and silage. Then you've got hay, silage, straw and mineral feed. We've got lime from mineral feed, stone mineral feed, grass silage, hay silage, chaff silage, straw silage, silage to digestate or silage and digestate. Two different recipes there. Then we've got seed production, lime. We've got digestate, liquid fertilizer, solid fertilizer, then pig foods. So we've got a whole load of stuff that can be done with productions. Then next to that, we have got the selling station, or buying station, should I say, you're buying. So you can buy various different products. If we go into our menu, no, oh, that's the one I want. If we scroll up until we get to something on the right-hand side, for example, lime, right-hand side, the four buying stations at the four fields, you can buy your lime, we can buy slurry, we can buy manure, we can buy solid fertilizer from them. What else was it? There was other things. I'm sure there were. I'm sure Total Mix Ration was on here. Diesel, straw, hay, grass, silage, Total Mix Ration, nice and cheap as well, actually. Uh, what else was that? Seed. So, yeah, there's a whole range of stuff you can buy from your buying station. We've then got our cow barn, cow pasture. 500 cows 
And as we come over here, we've got a 10 million litre multi-fruit silo on the side of the building. And then part of the building, which has also got some stuff, and you'll see down the bottom right, it says pallet and bale storage, 500. So each farm has that as well. And then we've got our slightly different... So I think on the um, on Fearfeld, and you've got your three tractors in here. On four fields, you've got two of your tractors in here. You've got your Deutsch, you've got your John Deere, and then we've got our case round in this one. Whereas on Fearfeld, and I think the three tractors are all in here. So yeah, it's just it's subtle differences like that. There are a few differences. So I'm going to put some money in because we're going to need to go around and buy some bits as we go around. We've got a couple of pictures I've already taken from Fearfelden. Sorry if I'm saying wrong. I need to Fear. So it's Fearfelden. Fearfelden, yeah. We're going to go this way around. We do have water on two sides. Oh, tell what I haven't shown you. The map looks like that. <laughs> Four fields. That's why it's called it. And then all your, your stuff is around the outside. Um, the field prices, I have to say, not considering the size of them, 443 grand, 421, 421. And then we can buy pretty much all the plots around the outside. Now, some of these have got some extra bonuses. Down here, we've got a campsite. If you buy the campsite, you can get a passive income. I had in an hour, I don't know if, it, if, I, got, if I got that right, it was something like 2,397. 2, there was nothing else on here that I had that was producing. Up here we've got a section on wind turbines. Um, if you buy that, you can get some passive income off the wind turbines as well. And then, as I said, we've got some plots as we go around that have got, I think one's there and then one's over this side here, uh, which are those big open gardens. And the, like I said, the plot prices are not expensive at all, really. 94 grand, 102. So all of the plots, even the ones that have got um, productions or sell points on can be purchased so um, if you want to put placeables down and all that kind of thing you can we've got vineyard off to our left again ground can be purchased if you want and I'll show you the couple of differences just here so we've got our fast food restaurant just here and next door we've got the bakery so fast food restaurant and bakery i'm going to buy the bakery in a moment but if you come on to here on fearfelden the fast food restaurant or the restaurant will look like this and we go a bit further across the bakery will look like this so as I said, for the most part the map is the same, but there are some subtle differences with buildings and that kind of thing. Bear with me a moment, I'm going to put some money in. That's better. So, Wizard Cross Road. I'm pretty sure it's the bakery. Buy the bakery for 50,000. Oh yeah. That. So click on that, you'll see. So we've got, this will also make flour. Rye flour, spelt flour as well. And then the... Uh, Rye flour and spelled flour, bread, mixed bread, spelled bread, bread rolls, baguettes, muffins, cake, cereal, sunflower oils. So the bakery here does a whole ton of stuff in addition to as well. I'm pretty sure the other productions as we go around are all standard. I think it was just the bakery that had some additions thrown in. See my government subsidy signs over in the background there. So Continue along the south of the map, heading west. We've got the supermarket sell point to our left. We've also got a tailor shop to our left. It's fairly flat across the map to a degree. If you look across the map, you can just see there, there's a rise across the fields in the middle, and over the back corner, the far field, so if we go to, that's the far field, not the far field, this field and this field have a rise in each one. These two, I think, are the ones that are fairly flat. So it's not completely flat, but it's not far off. But as far as placeables and buildings on the plots of land like this on the outsides, um, for putting in extra productions, whatever you want to do, it's 
pretty flat, so you shouldn't have to do too much landscaping to flatten things out. So, campsite is just here. With the campsite cell point. And what's nice is Omatan has put in a couple of uh, kiosks for the purchasing of groceries on the campsite. Now, again, if you buy this campsite, you will get a passive income. Like I said, I. I'm sure when I checked the difference in price, mine had gone up by 2,000 odd, 2,397 in an hour, which seemed like quite a lot. But I didn't have anything else on, on here that would have been generating income. It's the only thing that could have been. It may be less than that, but it will generate a passive income if you want a passive income. You don't have to. Vehicle shop and workshop trigger is just here. This is also the reset point on the map. Plenty of space. No fencing, nothing like that. And again, you can come straight out of there, straight onto the fields. So big fields, big equipment, big machinery, multiple items of machinery is your thing. You're going to absolutely love that. Did I turn off my... I don't think tractor zone markers are on. Farmer's market. Just one there. There are 100 collectibles. Did I mention that? I didn't, did I? Um, there are 100 collectibles. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing as well. If you have... If you run Seasons on with Seasonal Cycle, that's great, fantastic. More power to you. Um, I, have to, I do it on Let's Plays, but you don't have to. If you have Seasons turned off, and one of the things I find in-game in is with Seasons turned off, the crops will still take, you know, whether it's three months, four months, five months, however long a crop takes to grow, will still take that long to grow. It just means you can plant and harvest them whenever you want with seasons turned off. What Omitana's done on here, she's got accelerated growth on. Now, when I tested it, I had I, I planted a row of each crop from a cedar. I didn't do the planter ones, but I did do the cedar ones. So I did everything that a cedar plants, one row of each. Two months, everything was grown, ready to harvest. Now, I've got, I, I was doing it on one day months, um, so I don't know if it'll be two days or two months but I had it on one day months and it took two months and everything was ready to go. So it wasn't four months, wasn't five months, two months, bang, everything ready to harvest, which was brilliant. So if, if you, if you, I suppose if you're impatient like me sometimes, or if you're doing a let's play and you want stuff to grow quicker, then you know, that's what she's done anyway. Love it or hate it, it's up to you. But if you don't want to do that, then just put seasonal growth on. Not a problem at all. So we are now at plot seven. Uh, no, that's the one I wanted. We go to our map. We are at plot seven, just here. This plot will set you back 94,060. If we buy that, and you saw the horse sign, do that and that. All of our triggers come up. So we've got our production here. That's our horse farm farm production, which is exactly the same as the cow one. All the productions are all still the same. All the flowers, the rye flour, spelt flour, bread, mixed bread, rolls, baguettes, muffins, all of it is all the same and all four farms will be the same but i'll show you them but i won't you know, read everything out again um, and then we go from here we've got our farmhouse with sleep trigger at the back on this one we've got our bale storage for 500 we've got our farm supply production on the back here so it's our farm supply the same as the other one was all these utel mix rations your silages seeds pig foods all that kind of stuff We've got a buy point just here. 10 million, 10 million litre multi fruit silo. Then over the back, we've got a horse stable, and this does 16, I think it was. 16 horses here at the horse farm. But as I said, once you've purchased it, by going to build mode and we go to demolish, you can remove everything off the site. Absolutely everything. There was only one place I couldn't, and that was the final one, the pig one, I couldn't... There was one little shed I couldn't get rid of. Now, as you'll see as we go around, if I remove all of these... ...and remove the house, like that, you're left with the fencing and the play equipment. This building at the front, I think each farm has one, apart from... I don't think the pig farm did. If we do that, that should remove... There we go. So that's removed the play equipment, the fencing, the steps, everything at the back there as well so you can remove everything off the plot if you want to on all four farms from here and when i switch over the money might be a little bit different um because i can't remember how many i placed but not to worry 
I'll switch over when we get up to the top corner. So when we're right up in the northwest, we'll switch over. So we are coming up on the windmill production, just up here on the left. This can be purchased. For 20 grand. And as you can see, bottom right, wheat flour, barley flour, oat flour, sorghum flour, corn flour, wheat flour, barley flour, corn flour. What's the difference? Well, if we actually we click on that, don't we? So those are your, I say your usual flours, corn flour, and then it switches over again. We've got wheat. And this is the interesting one. We got wheat flour at 15 to 12, barley at 90 to 70, oat at 45 to 60, sorghum 45 to 48, and then 90 to 70. Then we go wheat flour again. These last three will provide you with pig food as well, but that's 15 to 12, that's 15 to 12 plus the pig food. That's 90 to 70, that's 90 to 69 and 21 of pig food. And then the corn flour is a 90 to 70. That's a 90 to 69 with a 21. So I suppose you only want pig food if you're going to be running pigs, unless you want to sell the pig food, in which case have it as a byproduct. Um, because why not? You're almost getting exactly the same amount of flour, but you're getting pig food um, as a bonus on that. So that's your windmill production. Back out onto my roads. Just here we've got our animal dealer. I do like the fact this barn's got grass on the inside. I don't think it's astro turf. Pretty impressive. Unless the roof opens or whatever, but Animal Dealer with Animal Dealer Cell Point, which is usually your bales, as you can see there. Grass, hay, straw, silage usually at your animal dealer cell point. Then we've got the grape processing unit. And the dairy, those are fairly standard. We've got a spinnery again, fairly standard. Now we come to this. So as you can see, a little bit larger than the standard open air garden mod that Omatana's got. <laughs> so we are here. Let's go back to our map. At plot 16. That's only 49,416 to buy. So you get the land and you get the... Uh, the open air garden. The open air garden is 20 grand to buy anyway, so um, pretty impressive. If we click on this, you'll see we've got our tomatoes, lettuce, strawberries, potatoes, sunflower, sugar beet, soybean, corn, cotton, and then we've got all the same things, but you've got um, recipes then for those products with seed and solid fertilizer, and then we've got the same with um, seed and manure. So all the same things. But just requiring some extra things and you just get you know you get better um the recipes are better should i say um the recipes are pretty good anyway over standard i'm pretty sure it says that productions are three times faster most of them not all of them but most of them have got and this one already starts with water in it so you can run these first ones you can run one crop all crops it's in type shoe whatever you want to do and you'll see if you've got all crops in and running it's a mega garden. From here, next cell points. Well, it's a buy point and a cell point. We've got our gas station fuel point just there. And then we've got the harbour cell point just here. Then we've got the plot of land with the wind turbines on. Now, these are the small wind turbines. And these only produce uh, uh, not very much per month normally anyway. And we've got, is it seven of them on here? So this plot of land that we're on here, we are now here, plot 18. If you buy that plot, now again, I, I tested it. I'm not sure if the numbers are right. Uh, if we go into our build mode and we go to production and go to our generators, you'll see that these wind turbines here, the small wind turbines, only generate 13,920 a month each. So per hour, it's not very much. Now, when I sped up time, and I'd sold, I made sure I sold the um, 
campsite so I didn't m mess my figures up. This came out at 939 an hour. Does that seem right? That's the figures I got. But anyway, so you can buy the so the, the um, wind turbine thing here, and you can earn a bit of passive income if you want to. And now I'm going to switch over to Fierfelden. And we're going to do the rest of the map going east, out to the northeast, and then back down the other side on the German side. So you can see a sort of a bit of a, a taste for what the farms look like with the German buildings. Um, and we'll have a look at the, the, the couple of other bits as well. Willkommen to Fierfelden. Fierfelden, sorry. Here we are switched over and as you can see the red barn look has gone more of a european style we are at the sheep farm oh that's weird oh no interactive zone markers are on oh i haven't bought the land have i so we are at this plot here plot eight by that all our triggers come up so same thing again we get our sheep farm farm production all the same things, but this is the sheep farm version now. All of the stuff on Fierfeld and in the build mode is exactly the same. You don't get a, a German selection of different stuff. It's, it's the same buildings, all the same stuff in build mode. It's just a few different vehicles and the actual buildings out here are a little bit different. Um, what was I say? There was something else as well. Oh yeah, in build mode, obviously you've only got the cow farm and horse farm production. You don't get the sheep and pig one. Um, so if you do remove these from the sheep and pig farm, you can only replace them with cow or horse ones. Not that it makes a huge amount of difference. Um, actually, that's a good point. I wonder, can we go into here? If I click on that, oh, I can rename it. So where it says sheep farm farm production, so if I put a cow one down or a horse one down, I can go in and rename it. Um, and I can just change it to sheep farm or pig farm if I wanted to. Not forget, I say. Whatever you want to do, it's on top shoe. By point is just there, and as you can see, our barn has changed somewhat. We've got a three door. It's still um, pallet and bale storage at 500. Drive through. Still a 10 millimeter silo. Multi fruit, and then over here we've got our farm supply production, and then we've got our house over the back here. Sleep trigger and wardrobe trigger, just there. Then we go down through past the hedge. We've got our sheep pen. This holds a thousand. So sheep farming is your thing. Thousand sheep. Back to the pickup. Let's continue heading east. Before I do, I'm going to throw the I'm going to throw the drone up. <laughs> Let's get the drone. I want to show you. Just the, the subtle changes, like I showed the two buildings before. If we come back along past the harbour, past here. So as you can see, the spinnery is a different building. As is our dairy. Great process unit stays the same, but the dairy is... Is that a slight... Hmm, is it... I'm trying to think, is that the same building? That's the same. Oh yeah, there you go, look. Bowen Market rather than Farmer's Market on the sign. So yeah, some subtle changes between the two maps but for the most part they are you know, the same continuing on we do have some forestry there's not a huge amount of it but you can plant trees and grow them if you want to oil mill and sugar mill to our left now grain mill that is just a sell point that's not a grain mill grain mill because all of our productions at our farms and the bakery can all do flour and stuff as well so you don't need a separate grain mill so that is just a sell point on the map grain mill continuing along we've got the biogas sell points now so this is selling station bga that's not a biogas plant that is just a selling point and what we'll do i'll show you on the uh Prices screen, if we go down to the various different things you would normally sell at or take to a biogas plant. So sugar beet cut, as you can see, selling station BGA has a price for it. We should have manure as well, I believe. Silage as a price, selling station BGA. Have I gone past it? Oh no, there we go. Manure, selling station BGA. 
and slurry selling station BGA. So if you don't want to run the biogas plant, if you don't want to digest that as a product, you just want to sell those items, you can. Biogas heating plant, sell point, just there. Bit of forestry there, lovely. And then we come to the fourth farm, the pig farm. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm sure it was the pig farm, or was it the sheep farm I'm thinking of? It might have been the sheep farm. I'll double check that. Um, so, we go back to our map. We come all the way across here. We are now here at plot six. If we do that and that, all of our triggers appear. So, our pallet and bale storage at 500, just there. Sleep trigger and wardrobe trigger, just there. 10 milliliter multi fruit silo, just there. Our farm supply production, there. Pigs, this is a thousand as well, I think. Yep. And then our farm production, just over here with our buy point just past it so that's our production and that's our buy point actually you know what it might have been the sheep farm let me just jump up in the air let's whiz across Yes, I'm pretty sure this one didn't have a building to get rid of decorative objects. And the only thing left on here was this garage, which I couldn't sell. You watch it sell now. No. So the garage, you can't get rid of. So you can remove everything else off of this plot, including the house, but you can't get rid of the garage for some reason. I don't know why. Um, that was the only plot you couldn't remove everything. I knew one of them did. So... We are now out to the east and heading south. When we get down to the, the main farm where we started, you'll see the difference in vehicles. So, the second of the large open air gardens, you can buy this plot exactly the same as you could on the other one, if you want to. Then we've got our sawmill of sorts so we've got two cell points first of all so you've got a cell point for wood chips and you've got a cell point for wood so if you just want to sell your wood and if you just want to sell wood chips that's fine you don't have to have the sawmill you can just sell them at the cell points but then we have got the sawmill which is just over here this is a standard sawmill lumber in planks out with wood chip as the byproduct you can take your wood chip and sell it directly if you want to whatever you want to do about it so that's your sawmill then next door to that we've got the actual biogas plant So the biogas plant, you buy the land, and then the triggers come up. So we come all the way down here. That's that plot of land, 35,424 for the large open air garden. We are now at the biogas plant, plot 28, 321,408. That's all. Do that and that, and our triggers come up. It's a standard biogas plant, I think, as far as I can tell it is. 24 cycles per month. Just looking at the recipes, though. Silage... Yeah, they seem fairly standard. I mean, they might a lot of the biogas plants. There's there's slight differences in the recipes. The cycles per month are often the same, but the recipes might be a little bit different. Not glaringly. It's not like it's you know ridiculously high numbers. But those are your biogas plants. Now, same thing with this. I suppose with most biogas plants on any map, um, it does say in the instructions in the description if you want to sell the biogas plant and use this plot and put your own biogas plant in, it is sellable like that if you want to and then you've got another plot of land for whatever you want to do on it all sorts of activities or you can put another biogas plant on there if there's one you particularly like or you want to go modular or you know, that's of course as always is your choice oh no we've got a bit of a rise in this field as well obviously it rises up to the middle of the map doesn't it for some reason i thought this field was flatter but no it rises up in the middle now we're heading all the way back down to the southeast corner which is where we started and you'll see the difference in the farm and the farmyard and we'll have a quick look at the difference in the machinery and that's the map look at my instructions my notes 
think I've missed anything. So, farmhouse, as you can see, is different. The red barn look is gone. The same with the other farms that we've just looked at. But here's the difference in the machinery. So, these bits, as you can see, the harvester and the lorry is different. But these are the same. And over this side, we have the case. But and we had a telehandler. So we've got the little class wheel loader. These items are the same, and then where it changes is in the barn here. So rather than two tractors and one round there, this one's got its three tractors in here, as I stated at the start. But we do have a class. We have fence. We still have the Deutz. So rather than having a case and a John Deere, we've got a fence and a class. Other than that, everything else is the same. The mowers are the same around the back in here. And that's the map. Four fields, Fierfelden by Omatana. 425.07 megabytes download. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.